Yates Productions. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick video on how to build a, um, I guess you call it a stand to mount your camera to if you're gonna film um, videos like straight down, if you're gonna be working on something. We're gonna build it out of PVC. Um, Lowe's had everything we needed. I got two five foot pieces of one inch PVC, a couple end caps, uh, two end caps to be t total three elbows like this and two T's and then one quarter to 20 by a half inch um, bolt and that's actually the thread that most tripods and camera mounts use to mount your camera. So the first thing we need to do is make some cuts. Um, we're gonna have three 13 inch cuts, two 11 inch cuts, a seven inch cut and a three inch cut. So I'm gonna measure these out, go ahead and make those cuts, and then we'll just put the thing together. All right, so the cuts were made. I just wanna show you real quick. This is basically everything that you need to complete this job. Um, there's all my pipe cut, um, three 13 inch pieces, two 11, one seven, one three inch, and all the couplings. Um, you need a tape measure to measure the lengths, a Sharpie, there's the screws for the, uh, the mount, and just a regular old hacksaw to cut the pipe and then a, a cordless drill. You need to take the drill and drill a hole right in the middle of here, and then you'll put your screw through there so it sticks out, and that's where you'll thread your camera mount into. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down and we'll start putting this thing together. All right, so we're gonna put the thing together. I'm not gonna glue it. I'm just gonna push it together. It should stay fine for what we're using it for. Um, you could glue it if you wanted to, or you could even paint it if you wanted it to look nicer. But we're just gonna throw it together real quick. So first thing we wanna do is take one of these T-couplings and basically like this, it's gonna be the bottom of our frame. We'll take one of the 13 inch pieces, slide it in, take another 13 inch piece, slide it in the the other side like so kind of making that and then we will take the last 13 inch piece and put it in the top side so basically we've, we've just made a T I'm just gonna pick this on the floor to make sure it's seated good all right so got that all seated good um, and this is gonna be the back piece um, and your camera will mount up here so from here, take another elbow. We're gonna set this down so make sure we can get it level. And we're gonna slide it on each end of this 13 inch piece, like so. Another one, pop it on this end. Slide that tight. So now we're looking something like this. And then our two 11 inch pieces are gonna come out from these. So take an 11 inch piece slide it in like that do the same thing to this side and you can see it's starting to come together now and we, here's it's going to be our base um the end caps they're going to go on the end of these legs on the side and i'm just popping this together real quick so you can get the idea without spending a whole 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 day watching my video all right so from here it should sit by itself. All right. Now, what we're going to do from here is pop this piece on. Like so. Slide that on. Make sure it's straight. And, all right, level this out. And before we put the top together, I'm gonna go ahead and drill the hole in this so we can put our screw in for the camera mount. All right, so I've drilled the hole in this T-coupler. Um, it's a 15 64th bit is what I used. And so we had a seven inch and a three inch piece. Um, basically these are gonna be interchangeable. You put one in, or a shorter one, depending on how far out you know you want your camera. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the seven inch to start with. Pop that in, and then we're gonna open up our screws here. 
or a bolt, I guess. I'm gonna take one of these bolts and pop it through the inside of this coupler, like so. It is a little bit tight, so you're probably gonna have to, to thread it in. Let me grab a screwdriver. All right, so got a screwdriver, and yeah, this is kind of tight. We're just threading it in here. Uh, as far as it'll go, nice and tight, like so. And then just pop it on. And there you go. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's your stand. You would use it something like this. And it might need to adjust a little bit. That's why I didn't glue it. Mount your camera there facing downward you can be working on something and get a good video um, without having anything in the way so that's it basic uh, camera stand quick easy you can kind of tailor it to fit your knees different lengths whatnot but this is how I made mine all right so I just want to show you guys real quick this little closer the uh, screw there and so I just got this for demonstration purposes it's just a little like bone mount um, but see how that's threaded and it'll just thread right onto there. So let me swap this and just thread that like so. So if you was gonna do an overhead video with your phone, you could use something like this, thread it in, and then there you go. Just notch your phone up in there and take your video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.